In this video, we're going to start discussing uh, surface area of prisms and pyramids. So we've been doing area of several different types of uh, shapes, and now we're going to kind of put that together and find the area of all the surfaces of these uh, three-dimensional shapes. So solid figures or solids are three-dimensional shapes. Three-dimensional shapes that are made up of polygons are called polyhedra. So prisms and pyramids are some examples. To name a prism or a pyramid, use the name of the base. All right, so let's start with a prism. A prism is a solid figure with congruent and parallel faces. So let's take a look at all these pictures here. Notice this is a triangular prism. I have a base here that's a triangle and a base here that's a triangle. And these two triangles are congruent and they're parallel. Here's a pentagonal prism, so the base is a pentagon, so here's one of the bases, and here's the other base. Now things get a little bit more confusing with a rectangular prism, because really any pair of opposite faces could be the bases. So if I wanted to, I could use this left side and this right side for the bases, it would just have our rectangular prism on its side. Similarly, with this cube, I really could use any of the opposite faces for the bases. The hexagonal prism, though, I could only use these hexagons for the bases. All right, so that's our prism. Moving on to our pyramid. So a pyramid is a solid figure. with a polygon base and sides that are triangles that meet at a point. So here we have a pyramid and we can see here's the base since this base is a square, we would call this a square pyramid. And then each of the sides is a triangle. So I have a triangle here, another triangle here, one more in the back, and then one more on the left in the back. So I have these four blue triangles that all meet up at that point at the top, which is called the vertex of the pyramid. So um, again, we've got... Uh, base so this is the surface that a polyhedra remember that's just a three-dimensional solid can sometimes we say stand on all right so I know it's hard to see on here hopefully you can see it better on your uh, paper, but this is my base over here, and then I have another base over here so I could stand it up there, and then over here I have a, a pentagonal pyra pyramid, so here's my base over here. Again, it's hard to see on my copy, but your copy should be easier. Now the lateral faces, this is a surface that connects the bases or extends from the base. Right, so we can see in this picture, the lateral faces are the ones that are kind of on the sides, and they connect the top and the bottom. And over here, the lateral faces are all the faces that are not the base. So this leads us to surface area. It is the total area 
of all surfaces of a polyhedra. So we're literally going to be finding the area of every surface and then adding it together to get the surface area. So this rectangular prism here, we can see if we open it up, we're going to unfold it and we have one, two, three, four, five, six rectangles. So if we find the area of all those rectangles and add it up, it would give us the surface area. All right, so that's it for this video. Um, make sure you rewatch. There's a lot of vocabulary that you may want to add to your uh, vocabulary sheet, and make sure you get help when you need it.